Okay. Um, when you're simplifying these fractions, all of the problems are going to work out the same way. They're always going to have the same thing on the top and the bottom, and they're going to cancel out. So you want to use it as a clue to help you in where you want to go. What we're going to be doing here is factoring. And if you notice, the numerator, this 3x plus 4, doesn't have anything else you can do to reduce it. Sometimes if you have an expression like this, you can factor out, for example, a 2. And so it would be 2 times x plus 3 because 6 divided by 2 is 3. But with 3x plus 4, there's nothing that they have in common. So it's just going to stay like that. So that's a huge clue that on the bottom, one of your factors will be 3x plus 4 because all of the problems you're going to get in Algebra 2 are going to simplify really nice like that for you. So I'm going to go here and go to the next um, step in the fraction. I'm going to rewrite the 3x plus 4. And then in the bottom, I already know that 3x plus 4 is one of the factors because I figured out the system. So we need to know what's going to go over here in this other one that would FOIL back to give us 3x squared plus x minus 4, which is the denominator. So if you look at the first terms, 3x times, the only option would be x because that would give you 3x squared, which is the first term. Oops, I didn't mean to erase that. Um, and then you need to think about the last one, this minus 4. The only thing you can multiply positive 4 by is a negative 1 to get a negative 4. So I'm going to come over here and I'm just going to check my factoring to make sure it works because I don't want to make any careless mistakes. So we have 3x plus 4 times x minus 1. First is 3x squared. Outer is minus 3x. Inner is plus 4x and last is minus 4. These two combine together to give you a positive x. We have 3x squared and then minus 4 which is what we started with over here so we're good. There's a check right there. So here's our two factors. 3x plus 4 on top, 3x plus 4 on bottom. They both cancel out. That means your answer is 1 over x minus 1.